Hey there everybody, I am Doodleman149 and today I'll be showing you my latest and greatest ship build and we're starting right now. Hey everyone, welcome to my humble little channel. Today I'll be taking you on a guided tour through how I went through building my latest Stroud Eklund ship, which I call the Reaper. I'll give you a time lapse video of the build while I tell you about some of my inspirations for it. Let's hop into this. But wait, what is this? A word from my sponsor? No, I'm not actually pulling your leg today with Raid Shadow Legends. Instead, I've recently signed up to get an affiliate link with W Energy. Haven't heard of W Energy? Well, I hadn't either until I saw an ad for them on Twitter saying they were looking for creators of all sizes. So I applied for shits and giggles and they actually accepted me. While I'm not being paid to talk about them, I figured I'd mention them all the same. If you're in the market for some energy drinks that won't make your heart explode and won't give you a crash afterwards, then why not give W a try? They've got a lot of different flavors, so they're there's probably something for everyone. The Dragonade and Galaxy Grenade flavors both sound pretty good to me, being Dragon Fruit Strawberry Lemonade and Watermelon Guava and Lime respectively. Plus, they've got some merch, so check them out and be sure to use the code DOODLEFAN at checkout for a nice little 10% off. I'll be candid, I will get a tiny bit of commission when you use the code, so I really appreciate if you decide to give their stuff a try. Back to the video. I'll be honest, I was a bit stuck for my next ship idea. Most of mine have the cockpit in front and I try to kind of build wings off the sides. I usually go for a very jet-like shape to my ships, but it's space, so what's the harm in trying something less aerodynamic? I saw a ship design on Twitter that had some pincer-like wings to it, so I figured I'd give it a try for myself. I wanted to have a centralized raised cockpit and just the captain's quarters. Why just the captain's quarters, you might be asking? Well, I had intended my next ship to be as small as possible. So after wasting a ton of credits trying that, I still had that mindset going into this build. Just a quick note here, if you do like this video, I've got other videos at the end of this video that I think you'd enjoy as well, so be sure to check them out when you're done here. Getting back to the actual build, what I had started out with was a <clears throat> commandeered spacer ship. It had some parts that I wanted to reuse, like the tie out landing bay. Since I wanted there to be a raised cockpit, I knew I needed a bridge, and not everyone has those. I think just Hope Tech and Stroud Eklund. Since the only thing that Hope Tech is good for is cool looking landing gear, I went with Stroud. I also wanted it to be as seamless as possible, which can be kind of hard for a ship with a bridge, but I didn't want any ladders everywhere interfering with my walking space. As such, I put a companionway on the back of the landing bay to give myself a starting point. On top of that, I put two more in order to have a single ladder leading to all three floors of the ship, the landing floor, the mess hall, and the captain's quarters. Needless to mention, I put a mess hall on the second floor to give the ship a wider profile and to, again, make it as seamless as possible while giving myself some extra passenger space for smaller jobs. You could swap this area out with three 1x2 halves of whatever kind you need, like a workshop, computer core, or whatever, but at the end of the mess hall, towards the opposite end of the landing bay, I put another companionway with a porthole that I would mount a massive bridge onto. I went with the second highest tiered Stroud bridge because the highest tier was 20 grand more to buy, and it only gave me 20 more cargo space, so that would have been a huge waste of money. On the third floor is where I put my captain's quarters. Now I'm sure you can see what I was trying to do to make the two forward facing wings here so that needs little explanation. However, the back of the ship is where things get juicy. I hadn't made a class A ship in a while so you might be surprised to learn that that's what the Reaper is. I went with the highest energy output class A reactor I could get. It was still cheaper than the best class B so that's a nice bonus. I also went with the top of the line class A grav drive as well. For the engines I wanted something that would look cool and perform well too so I went with the Slate and Aerospace SA4330s. The Engines only take up two power points per unit, so you can stack six of these on your ship for some serious speed. They also come in six configurations, which surprised me and allowed me to have the engines looking cool by properly arranging them. Now you may be wondering about the shield. I, of course, went with the best one I could get for a class A, which was admittedly a little bit of a letdown on strength, but it's to be expected. And I went with a tactic that has helped me in many space fights. I put the shielded generator inside my ship. I actually mounted it on the reactor and built around it with various structural pieces. This not only prevents there from being an awkward shield sticking out somewhere, but it also protects the generator from being hit while your shields are down, meaning you won't have to wait for it to be repaired to max health. I also use the side mounted fuel containers to bulk up my jump distance while also fitting in with the profile of the ship. The last sneaky thing I thought to add on was the underbelly cargo containers. I had the ship all well and built before this as I wanted it and then I realized that I hadn't put any cargo containers on here. To remedy this, I built them into the wings. Instead of flipping the cowling from the top of the wings to the underside, I instead used the underbelly containers to give myself a massive cargo capacity while also killing my mobility. I say it's worth it. I'm deciding to go with the particle cannons and laser build for this ship, so I have two particle cannons at the moment. I ran out of cash for the lasers. I kitted it out in green and yellow because I was feeling creative, and that's pretty much all she wrote. The Reaper was born, and now I'm off to fly it around while I save up cash for my next build. Speaking of cash, this entire build cost me 210 grand to build, and that was with it already having the reactor and grab drive for my previous build attempt, so it's more like 250 grand from scratch. 
There are admittedly some limitations I can already see to this ship, so I might as well mention them. The excessive cargo space is really going to slow me down quite a bit, despite the six powerful engines I've got on board. In addition to that, the reactor class is going to limit my damage output, not because of power restrictions, but because Class A weapons aren't all that great. I may also decide to swap the cargo bay for some more useful habs down the line, but we'll see. I'm happy with the Reaper so far personally, and the colors are very different from what I usually choose, so that was fun to do too. Do you like the look of the Reaper? How would you rate its interior and flow along with its utility? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, subscribe is a great way to keep up to date with when I post, and liking this video appeases the algorithmic god of YouTube to suggest this video to some other spacefarers out there. I really truly appreciate your time, and I hope this was as fun for you as it was for me making it. Remember, don't forget to use my discount code DOODLEFAN if you're looking for some healthier energy drink options from Dubby. It saves you some cash and gets some sent my way as well. If you want to see more ship builds from me, or better yet, if you have ship builds that you want me to attempt, let me know in the comments below and I can get to work on making more of these. I hope you have a great day and a great week coming up. If you like this video, I've got a whole playlist you can watch right after this. I've been your host, Doodleman149, and until next time, I will see you again sometime, somewhere, amongst the stars.